Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 19. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. So we're going to be taking part in the Class D North American Tour. Uh, <laughs> no, Godo. <laughs> I will not be. Uh, so we're going to start with uh, Infinium Raceway, Road Atlanta, Indianapolis, Sebring, and then finishing off with Mazda Raceway. Let's get going. America, fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited to drive this. I know it's going to handle like a tank and it's going to be horrible, but come on. There's some good cars in this game. Uh, probably for another three hours, I want to say. Oh my gosh, this thing's got some speed. It's got absolutely zero handling ability, but... Who cares when you can go fast in a straight line? Uh, try exclamation mark. Uh, credits. Otherwise, I'll just do it the old school way. It doesn't work anymore. It should work, but I don't know. It didn't work out. Oh, so it does it by credits. So if you do X, I on credits, that's fine. I'm gonna have my sixth beer now. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm talking to a Brit that's currently like it's 1 p.m. for them. His name's Cotto. He's in another country and he's very much enjoying himself while I'm sat in my house playing video games. I mean, to be fair, I'm enjoying myself doing that as well. So no complaints. PM. Oh, sorry, I was out by an hour or two. We're going to be wheezy in a minute. 100%. It's Cotto, what do you expect? He's a lightweight. Whoa. Testing something. More pina coladas, that's why I'm shitting it. What? <laughs> Sorry, did I read that right? Did that just say breakfast cocktails? Alcohol for... This man's a lunatic. Cotto, shut up. You got drunk off of three shots of rum the other day. You got drunk off three shots of rum. You can't say, oh, I'm, a, I'm not a lightweight. Oh, I'm not drunk. You're either lying about how much you've drunk. Or you're lying about the fact that you're not drunk. I can tell you're drunk by how you're typing. But 
you know, big brain strides. Such a lovely car, this. Starfield! Oh, by the way, chat, I've got my Starfield key. So I can act that. It's on my Steam library. I haven't actually looked at it yet. On uh, the Steam page. To see what Steam says, so. I'm hoping that it's going to be Steam Deck verified. That it can be runnable on the Steam Deck, but. ATM this morning. Well, yeah, but all the alcohol from that has worn off by now. If alcohol takes more than about eight hours to get out of your system, like, it shouldn't take more than four hours, let's be real. So, those breakfast co cocktails, irrelevant. I saw that reaction. Somebody put a reaction. I missed it though, so I couldn't tell which one it was. I just saw something fly up on the chat. Pickle. Bum bum bum. Bow wow wow bum bum bum. Bow wow wow bum bum bum. Do you know what I'm very tempted to do? Right, I know, I know it sounds weird, but uh, I'm, I'm tempted to watch back one of my old YouTube series. Whether that be uh, Forza Horizon 4. I, I might watch back Just Cause 4, because that was one of the first ones that I actually fully finished and actually thoroughly enjoyed. But I'm very tempted to go back to that one. Give that one a bit of a watch. Lovely. I'll take my rewards. Oh, and we get a ultimate Grand Tora as well. Which is nice. So we get the choice of the Audi R8. Lamborghini Gallardo. The RUF, because Porsche pulled out of this game by the looks of it. 458 Italia or the MP412C. Obviously going to take the MP412C. Who do you take me for? Pillock. And it's going to be in the normal orange, not the other one. The nice bright orange colour. Certain games are alright, modding. Fallout 4, I think, was okay. But yeah. I think Starfield's going to have one, though. It's going to be awesome. Definitely worth uh, picking up Just Cause 4. Um, if you've got PC. It's so cheap to buy. Like, you can find... If you look at, like, Steam, they'll do, like, sales for Just Cause. Every three months, something like that. And they'll do, like, a bundle sale. So they'll sell Just Cause 1, 2, 3, and 4 with all the DLCs for, like, 20 quid. You can get all, all four games. Which, Just Cause 3 on PC, by the way, is so much fun. Because it's smooth 60 FPS and everything. Ooh, bit of You've got mail. I don't care. Ah! Should have had it in F1 2020, would have been class. Just imagine Magello in any F modern F1 car. I mean, Magello, I'm, I'm surprised they haven't gone back to Magello for Formula 1 because. When you look at F1 2020, and you look at the 2020 Magello Grand Prix, I can't remember the name of it because it was some stupid long name, but uh, the 2020 race was so exciting. Crazy good. Oh, 
like obviously I, d I don't want like every race to have crashes and whatnot because crashes are scary don't get me wrong like when um roman grosjean crashed in bahrain that was terrifying because obviously we didn't we didn't know what the hell was happening but at the same time having a couple of incidents or whatnot some close racing good overtakes fast corners like it's good it's good for the excitement factor and obviously Miguelo did a great job at showing that off like it's such a smooth phenomenal track and 100% it would have been nice for them to add it either to the calendar but I'll be honest right I get why people want Yeah, Tuscan GP. Oh, that's it, Tuscan. I think it. The Amalia. Uh, uh, Emilia Romagna Grand Prix is okay. I hope Miguelo's in Motorsport 8. Because if it's not, it'll be such a disappointment for Motorsport 8. 100%. No, but I'm. I'm, I'm very excited for Motorsport 8. I'm just hoping it's going to be good. But yeah, like, Imola is an okay track. Monza's shit. I don't think we need two Italian GPs. But if we have to have two of them, because Ferrari's like, Oh, we need two Italian Grand Prix. Then we need Miguelo and Imola as our two tracks. 100%. As well as that, America doesn't need three tracks. I think the new Las Vegas circuit looks phenomenal. I'm going to be honest. If Miami wasn't there first, I 100% would have said we don't need another American track because I'm going to be honest I think Circuit of the Americas is dreadful I think it's a dreadful track it's never brought up much excitement 100% like the Las Vegas and the Miami tracks I think are good like and obviously America is a good big place so they definitely should have two tracks I think three is a bit excessive, but if they need three races, they have to swap out Circuit of the Americas, because it is just rubbish. I'm sorry, it's rubbish. But no, I'm, I'm really excited for Las Vegas. Like, you look at it on the F1 game, and I know it's a video game, but a video game, like, it, the Las Vegas track is one of my favorite tracks. In F123. Kota is amazing. What do you mean? No. It's not. It really isn't. There's a lot of good tracks that could make it into Formula 1. And when you've got mid tracks like Kota, like Monza, like Silverstone. I'll be honest. I would much rather swap Silverstone for a different track that's in the UK. The only reason it's stuck there is because of the fact that so many different types of corners. I mean, it doesn't matter about the different types of corners. It's the excitement factor. If it doesn't bring excitement, sorry, it's not a good track. Like, Circuit of the Americas, really, really not a fan of. I'm trying to go through the calendar list. Baku's not the best. Saudi Arabia's alright. I'll be honest. We've had quite a few exciting races out of Saudi Arabia. Um, I'm trying to remember some more tracks. It's really difficult to remember them on the spot. Portimao, for example. I think, with the... 
yeah, we haven't raced at Las Vegas yet, so maybe if we have a race at Las Vegas and we find out it's actually a terrible track, then fair enough. But I've driven Las Vegas. It's a much, much more exciting track than Circuit of the Americas. Uh, I'm almost finished with season two of F1 23. I'm gonna be moving on to season three soon. At some point I've got to play that game again. I haven't played F1 23 in like four days. And I have to play it fairly soon before Starfield comes out because uh, I may end up getting addicted to Starfield. But yeah, Spain is another good one that's terrible. It's a great example of a terrible F1 track. I've not been a great fan of Spain, but apparently there are some other Spanish tracks that are actually quite cool looking. I like Imola. It's bad for closed racing though. Silverstone can be good. I think it's just only logistically plausible in the UK right now. Yeah, it's something to do with the FIA. The fact that it needs to have like certain runoff distances and whatnot for it to be a like an A class or a class one track. Um, I think everything else is like class two or below. So even Brands Hatch isn't suitable for F1 anymore, and I think it used to be an F1 track, if I'm not mistaken. I remember hearing like F1 went around Brands Hatch or something like that. Like Realistically speaking, we have some good tracks in the UK. Knock Hill is a very good track. Obviously, Formula 1 will never go around Knock Hill. I don't expect it to. But uh, for the touring cars and whatnot, it's quite an entertaining track. Um, trying to think of the other one. Thruxton's a good one. Is it Thruxton? I don't know, but I know there are definitely some really, really good tracks and there are some really, really terrible tracks. And Silverstone, unfortunately, is just so open and so long. Like, it doesn't have much variation. I think the only section of Silverstone I actually think that's quite a decent section. Donington, that was one of them. Donington's a phenomenal track. Like, I'll be 100%. Project Cars has Donington in it. Mainly because Project Cars 2 is, like, a very British game. So, a lot of the tracks, a lot of the motorsport categories are all from British motorsports. But when you look at Donington Circuit, for example, like, it's got a good variation. You've got this really awkward first corner that makes it extremely easy... Well, not easy, but if you break late and do a good job of it, you can pull off an amazing overtake in the first corner. But it's also very easy to mess up. It's a really good challenge for the first section. Then you sort of have a heavy breaking into a right-hander as you sort of go round. Then this long uphill stretch. Oh, shit. <laughs> I've overshot the corner. This long uphill stretch that then takes you into a square right, another square right, you come onto the main straight and you've got a chicane, a hairpin, and then another hairpin. Like, there's a, a really good variety of different corners for Donington that would make it a perfect venue for Formula One. Like... All they would need to do is maybe rebuild some of the runoffs. Because the elevation change isn't substantial for Donington. Like, there's elevation, but... I mean, you look at... Um, the Netherlands, for example. That one's got pretty significant elevation change. Almost came to for the new infield at Silverstone. Donington... Going to host the GP again. Sadly, the money ran dry. Oh, that sucks. That actually would have been really good if Donington 
how old would you be? See, now, now that I've been playing F123, I'm very tempted to sort of just start doing an F1 series, going through all the Formula 1 games. As soon as I finish Forza, F1 2010, anyone? Like, I'm very much tempted to play all those games again. The only problem is I want to play them all on PC. I ain't got a sodding clue where to find F1 2010 or 2011 or 2012 for PC. And I have to find, like, disc copies. I think it would be very cool though to see even if right I think it would be great for Formula 1 to do where it goes from one season to another the first season say for example it goes through like two or three different like season lists so for example we have this season for example, and then they swap out like 10 of the tracks with 10 different tracks that Formula 1 has either been to before. They don't have to be good ones because not every track is going to be amazing. But at the same time, like if we're going to have going from year to year, very same old, same old tracks, then I, I would much rather Formula 1 do one year contracts with these tracks and say, Right, we're going to this track this year, and then we're going to go to it in two years' time to vary the calendar dramatically. Because I would much rather a dramatically different track, like a dramatically different calendar every single year, than just the same stuff year after year after year. I mean, you look, Spain has been on the calendar for so many years. don't need to be. It, just some variation would be nice. Let's be real. That's probably why, as well, the WRC hasn't come to the UK for the past four years. I think the last Welsh rally was 2018 or 2019. There definitely hasn't been one in 2020, 2021, 2 or 3. So the last four seasons haven't had a WRC rally in the UK. And obviously, ironically, it's the years that I've started getting into WRC. I just want, I want them, to, them to bring back the Welsh Rally so I can go and see a rally in person. I don't know what other rallies they do though, because when you look at, um, like I, I'd be more than happy to book a hotel for the weekend and go watch the rally. Stand in a field and just watch these cars rip it on a track. So good. I could get a vlog as well. I can like film it, put it on YouTube and be like, yo, what's up guys? 
mechanic CG and I'm in the middle of a forest. And on this road here, it's going to be a really fast fucking car. <laughs> That'd be one hell of a vlog. <laughs> I can guarantee I, I would easily be that guy that could get like three hours of footage. Like usable footage. Over a weekend. Like every day I'd just have like an hour made up of just dumb shit. <laughs> I'd have to make it into like a three-part series or something. I don't know. I'd definitely put some behind-the-scenes shit on uh, channel membership, that's for sure. Get some extra money for it! <laughs> Pandy, I am not your father. Your father is elsewhere. <laughs> How are you doing today, Pandy? Hopefully you're having a good day. Pandy, we got new cars for the uh, stream avatars. You've got a Prius. Eh, yeah, Prius. Pandy's a Prius driver, everyone. <laughs> How are you doing today, though? My father is downstairs. Today's been weird, but it's been chill. You? They all came through at the exact same time. You're a Prius. I'm a Prius. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, I've been doing all right. It's been quite a good day. Finished work a little bit early, so I've sort of had a little bit more of a rest before my stream, as opposed to yesterday when I finished work and then instantly started streaming. I was just like, I feel drained. So, fun. Good first lap. We got some cool mini games. In fact, do you know what? I'm gonna do a battle royale. Why not? I'm gonna do a battle royale, and whoever wins gets the uh, Ken Blocks Hoonicorn as a free car, as a free avatar. Except for the fact the battle royale is not starting. Why is it not doing it? Oh, there we go. It's doing it now. Fight, fight, fight. I love the Battle Royale minigame. It's sick. Whoop, whoop. Attack! Crap. I overshot my corner. Let's try that one again. I was very much uh, watching what was going on. Oh my gosh, Pandy's absolutely going to obliterate those medkits right now. Yep! <laughs> I spoke too soon! What? What is your avatar doing? Oh my gosh, I'm so distracted. I'm watching this because this is entertaining. Okay, Pandy won. Way! Pandy got the Hoonicorn. It's quite entertaining to watch, actually. <laughs> Whoa. 
Permanently. Once you've unlocked it, you've unlocked it forever. Until you uh, lose your YouTube account and you have to make a new one, then uh, it doesn't transfer over because there's no way to do it. But like, for your account, you got it forever. Which is pretty cool. Uh, so if you use that link, it'll take you to the website. Um, and it'll basically ask you to just sign into your YouTube account. And uh, everything comes up. So all the cars, obviously you can buy cars as you watch. Um, if you're in chat, you can do like exclamation mark flops. Or exclamation mark bet. Stuff like that. And you can play like mini games with your credits. That's sort of how you unlock the higher up cars. But uh, as you watch the stream, you also earn credits as well. Just by watching the stream. Pretty cool. Uh, under steering. Darn, missed it. Yes, you missed it. Nothing but cars, you missed the battle royale. Gutted. There we go, patty has got the hoonicorn. So yeah, at the end of the month, uh, I'm going to remove the hoonicorn from, like, winning. So you won't be able to win it from the battle royale. But instead, for next month, I have a plan for a different reward. That's going to be quite cool. Um, I have a plan for three cars. I I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell stream now, actually. So obviously for this month, if you win Battle Royale, you unlock Hoonicorn forever. For next month, we're going to have three cars. It's going to be in a loot box. You get Once you win the Battle Royale, you get a 50% chance of winning just money, just credits. And the other 50% will be split evenly between one of three cars. One of the cars is going to be the Porsche 918. The other car is going to be the McLaren P1, and you guessed it, the last car is going to be the LaFerrari. Unless there's an issue, in which case that will be the month after. But uh, it should be next month, the LaFerrari, the P1, and the Porsche 918 as the rewards for Battle Royale. The last car's a Fiat 500. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm going to add the Fiat 500 for my next lot of cars. <laughs> That's going to be great. So far, though, the upload limit is 25%. So I've basically got 25% of the limit of cars that I can do. Beyond that, I then have to purchase and pay to get another... Well, the, the limit, upload limit is 20 megabytes to the cloud. That's the most that you can do. And obviously, like, all of the avatars are heavily compressed so that they're as small as possible. But obviously, I've still hit 5 megabytes. I can pay £4 to add an extra 12 megabytes, and it's like a one-off thing, which I might do. But uh, if I need more than that, I have to subscribe on Patreon. So... I have five cars, the 595 SS, the 2500, and the new Fiat 500E 2 plus 1, and the 60 Fiat 124 Spider. Do I like the 2018 124 Spider, I think it's beautiful. If I could, and I had the money for it, I would have that Fiat right now. I love the look of it. And obviously, it's got quite a punchy engine as well. It's not like sports car or supercar territory, but it's it's got some oomph to it. It's like a slightly more powerful MX-5. It's got pull. The 
same time, it is just a reskin of Miata. I mean, yeah, it is, but still. Sounds better, looks better, drives worse, but it's just better. Doesn't matter how it fucking drives, it looks cool. It's a beautiful looking car though. I love one. Absolutely would love one. So yeah, for anyone who is watching the stream, if you do want to unlock some uh, extra cars, I'm a channel member, you get five cars for free. And uh, we're going to be adding a couple more cars as well. Hopefully, um, start of September, I'm going to do like another five cars. Um, make one of them a membership car so that you can instantly unlock an extra car. And then obviously add the other three reward cards. corner. <laughs> That's such a random message. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that makes more sense. You should have included... Have you seen that meme where it's like, um, so, boss, I'm pregnant, and I need some time off work, and then the response is just, you should have said that in one message, my wife did, <laughs> that was a great example of that, that should have all been in one message. I think I know what, what you're on about. There's a picture of my penis floating around on the internet. Well, guess what? Take a look at this. Ah! <laughs> that was a good one.
It's such a good line. Well, guess what? We found it! Ah! Is this Black Phillip? It is Black Phillip! I don't even understand the context behind the song, but it's a good song. Oh, we got the Boutique Supercar, which if I'm not mistaken, I think the Bugatti Veyron's on this one. But I thought it was level 30. Uh, uh, it's not. It's not this one either. When do I get the Bugatti Veyron, or do I not get one? Is that what this is? This is really weird. So we got the Spartan Adventure Sport... Coda Tronka TS. The fuck is that? We got the Rosian Q1. That's somewhat normal. We got the Weissman GT MF5. I'm under the impression that's a German name. It looks very much like a Morgan, and it also looks like a fucking Rhino or something. I don't know. The Devon GTX. Thank you for having a normal name. And the Bertone Mantide. I'm going to take the Devon GTX because I think this looks beautiful. Such a... Let's have a look at this first. Oh. Oh, I don't know about the back of that. Um, I mean, the front is alright, but... The... There's some weird cars in this game. What? It... Also, what were you thinking? So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.